Hello, Yakri here. I just wanted to do a little showcase of Octavia because I really have been looking forward to this update. I'm sure a lot of other people have as well, and I think this Warframe is another fantastic, uh, fantastically designed class, as it were, Warframe, to add on to the last several Warframes that DE has released, you know, with Nidus and Devara, um, just being fantastically well made. Now, let me show her abilities without mods. Alright, so her passive ability gives herself an ener nearby ally's energy, which is great. I don't know if she's quite a trinity replacement, but it's nice that we're seeing uh, some other support-esque frames getting energy, uh, the ability to give people energy, and we're getting more ways to get energy back, so we're not kind of reliant on one support. Um, Mallet is kind of the, uh, the one offense ability she has. Resonator technically is offense, but not really. Mallet is, however, fantastic. Uh... It attracts enemy fire the same way that Loki Decoy and Saren Molt do, and it it's not clear if it has like a base damage that gets amped or if it reflects damage, but it ends up being the same thing. The more damage the enemies deal to it, the more DPS that it has coming in, the more damage it does to all enemies in its radius. Now Resonator combos with Mallet, and the little ball that you create with a resonator, will roll around, find mallet, pick it up, and then roll off the charmed enemies with mallet on top of it. This is kind of a mixed blessing because charmed enemies don't shoot mallet, and so you're killing stuff less quickly while resonator is around, but it provides a pretty substantial distraction for a large number of enemies so that you can shoot at them and your friends can shoot at them. And... Eh, that about covers that. Metronome. Metronome is the kind of does a bunch of different things ability that she has. You can get bonus movement speed, bonus multi-shot, bonus melee damage. And it lists an armor increase, but the armor increase, I don't know how that works. If it's passive, if you if it even exists. Uh, you also can get cloaking, which is not mentioned, by crouching to the beat. So... We'll see. I hope I hope there's also an armor increase. It, that would be fantastic if it also did that, in addition to everything else. Uh, but it's a fantastic ability. Even like just the cloaking alone would be uh, excellent. And it's neat to see this new way of uh, uh, sort of combining many abilities into one that they've come up with. Now, Amp is probably your most boring ability. It just creates a really cool visual effect field. It boosts your mallet, and it boosts the damage uh, of your you and your allies. All right, so let's take a look at how these abilities work. So I've got it modded for max range right now and low power strength. Just to uh, show off how effective you can be even without optimizing for power strength. Oops. All right. Nope. Let's take a look at how this fares against Bombards. Hopefully they won't kill me because occasionally I just die to the splash damage and I'm sad. As you can see, it's not just absolutely shredding them, but it does pretty decent reflect damage, even with 40% power strength. And uh, usually they will manage to build up enough damage per second on themselves that they will just die. Yep, looks like it's going to work out. Oh, but I'm going to die. Whew. Leave me alone. All right. Ah, damn it. Okay. So let's, uh, that, that, that's just an example of how effective this is, even with uh, even with my current mods on it, um, which gives me a damage multiplier of one, right? Not a lot. Well, let's take a look at the range really quick before I change the power strength. So if you combine this with your ultimate, the range on it magnifies, right? It's enormous. Is absolutely ridiculous with the ult. The range is doubled, and the base range at this point is 25, right? So it's a 50 meter radius ability. Uh, and if you, if those bombards were shooting it, it would be doing 600 damage per second to all enemies within that radius. Actually, this doubles the damage, so it would be doing 1,200 damage per second to all enemies in this radius, right? So it's a pretty, pretty impressive combination. And then you can have the roller pick it up and fall and move it around. Uh, not that that matters too much with such an extreme range. Okay. We're gonna have to wait a few seconds for these to wear off. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I could be causing some fun, fun, fun bugs in the simulacrum. 
So with Power Strength, of course, these abilities become way more effective, and you probably are going to want to run this Warframe with good Power Strength, uh, mostly because it doesn't matter too much for Mallet, right? Like, like if you can slow, like, like not that slowly, but over like 10 or 12 seconds, kill a 50 meter <laughs> AOE of enemies, that's, you know, you, you, sure, you, you might want to kill them even faster, but that's pretty good. Uh, thing is that... Uh, your ultimate is very useful for your allies as well. So looking at this with stats, uh, look at Amp, right? The max damage multiplier is 3.5. That's a damage boost to you and your alloy allies that will stack with other damage boosts, especially things like Nova, and uh, it boosts Warframe abilities that deal damage, as well as your damage, of course. Uh, and then you've got your Mallet at 4.38, right? Instead of 1. Much higher. So let's take a look at how we fare against the Bombards with this higher power strength. Alright. And they should pretty much obliterate themselves in just a second here. Yep. And with your ultimate, you can still get a pretty pretty sizable range on this. That's going to be um, what? ability radius 14, so 30 meters, or 28 meters. Uh, you could probably mod or, or form a little bit more effectively and get Cunning Drift on there, get it up to actual 30 meters, and yeah, you're in a good place that way. Uh, with a 3.5 damage multiplier maximum for your allies, and uh, you're providing distraction as well as, uh, let's see, what are the buffs on this? Like 50% bonus melee damage, 50% bonus multi-shot, 50% move speed, and if this armor buff actually exists, pretty solid armor buff. The buff duration is also pretty generous, actually. I expect it to be much shorter so that we would need to refresh the buffs constantly, but that's, that means like you can get a 22 second stealth. Uh, you can provide 22 seconds of invisibility to your entire team. This is fantastic. Um, I just really like that she has some abilities that have some actual synergy that makes them work a little bit differently and isn't just strictly better. Although, I mean, with the, the buff with the ult, is the, 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 the synergy between Resonator and Mallet is a little bit better. Um, the synergy between Resonator and Mallet is a little bit better because, you know, it picks it up and it moves it around. Um, rather than just being like, ah, oh, it's way more damage now, right? So that's kind of nice. Um, and I like that she has uh, such a... Mm, she has scaling, and she has buffs. And so she has, she has a combination of being able to tank some enemy hits, support your allies, buff yourself, and protect yourself with stealth, and uh, actually deal damage that scales with the difficulty of the levels you're in, which is... Uh, somewhat necessary in Warframe where, you know, everything is scaling and we want to do, like, 40 waves of uh, Tower 4 uh, Roken Defense with a Void Fissure on it, right? Alright, thank you very much for watching. That's all.